Hey, Mr. Trevor176 got a copy on Z28 Orange County, California. Hello. Hey, Z28. Z28 Orange County. Making a trip, no problem, Dan. I'm the Roger. Hey, Roger that. Hey, if you don't mind me asking a question, I got two antenna questions for you. One is, how big is the boom length on your antenna? And then the second one is, how high is it off the ground? Do you want to go down one? Do you want to go down the channel there, Roger? Yeah, QSY. Yeah, copy that station with the uh, antenna thing out. Yeah, there's, there's also 924 trying to reach you there, 176. But um, I was just curious. I know you got a nice antenna set up. I know he's here. You're real strong. You're uh, bouncing between uh, S9 and 20 over. So I was just wondering what your boom length was and also how high you had the antenna. This is Z28. Oh, Roger. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, well, the boom length, uh, not, not that long. It's just uh, about the size of a six Oh, copy. Okay, I thought you had a different setup than what I thought. Okay, I'm glad I asked. So you got them stacked vertically? Yeah, yeah. That's it, mate. That's it. That's how I go there, right? Yep. Okay. Awesome. That is so good, man. Yeah, not a lot of people on 11 meter know to stack them vertically. I know on the ham radio a lot of people do it, but... And I, I was... Anyways, you kind of confirmed my, uh, my argument for antennas. I'm like... I remember... Um, well, anyways, I don't want to cause any issues, but I was talking to Motormouth Mall, and I'm like, dude, you would have been much better off running a two antennas stacked half the size than one big antenna. But uh, anyway, yeah, the setup is doing really good over here, and uh, I just wanted to know what it was. I appreciate it. Yeah, yeah, no drummers, no drummers. You got Trevor. Trevor, here, yeah, come back to your personal uh, demand there. But uh, yeah, yeah, well, Yeah, right, right. There's a bunch of benefits. Yeah, the lower angle of radiation, and then the other is the fact that yeah, you're 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 not narrowing your vertical you're narrowing your vertical beam width, but you're not narrowing your horizontal beam width, and you don't really necessarily want to be two directional on your horizontal side. So you're smooshing down your vertical, and then yeah, I yeah, the second benefit is the takeoff angle is lower. That's so cool, man. Um, what was the other thing I was going to ask? Um, but that's it. I'm surprised. I thought you had a bigger antenna, but you kind of do. It's just they're stacked. Um, oh, what's the... Are you a half wavelength apart on the stack? Uh, just over. Just over. Um, I can get about three, just basically get three dB gain at half a wavelength. I'm a couple of feet more than that. Um, so you get a little bit more dB gain, but you get... Uh, Yeah, yeah, Roger that. I would think, you know, in theory, the most you can get is three dB gain on a stack. I mean, that's a that's assuming everything perfect. I think uh, people say you can get about two point seven, two point eight, you know, whatever. But um, three dB is like the ideal. But uh, yeah, it's it's it seems to be working. Plus, your hearing station's pretty good too, so that's that's good. Um, but I'm always hearing you, and you're, uh, you know, not to give you, you know, too many brownie points, but you're, you're, so far, pretty much been the strongest signal 
here in Orange County, California, I mean, that's coming from Australia or any surrounding areas over there like New Zealand or anything, you, you've been the strongest station. Now, we don't want to disclose, I know you're running 12 watts, but we, we won't t talk about that, but I'm sure you're running a, you know, a full 12 watts would help a little bit too, but, uh, you know, I know it's mostly the antenna. Roger? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, no, we're 12. Uh, we're up at 600 meters, and the antenna is 5 meters from the side of the cliff or the side of the mountain facing your way. Mm. So um, that helps a lot too, Roger. Oh, okay. 600 meters, and then you're overlooking a, a cliff. That's cool. I know sometimes if you're too high, I got a friend who lives up uh, in Big Bear here in California. He's at about 6,000 feet, you know, which is what, 2,000 meters? And I think he's worse off. Sometimes I go up there and try to shoot DX, and he, it's actually easier to shoot skip here uh, along the coast here. Uh, I'm, I'm pretty close to the coast here in California. The other factor is I think the, um, the, the, uh, the soil here along the coast is better. The, um, what do you call that? There's a thing they call it. Um, the uh, ground conductivity is higher here in the first about 10, 15 miles along California, which I'm in, which helps me which people that live about 20 or more miles inland, their ground conductivity reduces. So, you know, I, I, I think that gives me a little bit of an advantage, too. Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. It seems to, everything seems to work better up my way. After you have a lot of rain, after you have a lot of rain, get a better earth, because uh, the earth up here is pretty shocking. It's all bloody sedimentary rock there. I'm trying to get an earth stake in there. It will take you a couple of days there, Roger. Oh, Roger that. Oh, and you were asking the personal. I think you were, anyways. Um, this is Dan, uh, Delta Alpha November. No worries, there, Dan. Uh, good to make the contact, mate. And um, yeah, yeah. Well, so that's, uh, that's the antenna set up, mate. And uh, yeah, yeah. You better get uh, you better get stacking, mate. But uh, of course, you've got to have a place to do it there because uh, it's a bit of an antenna eyesore. Uh, Shiri's antenna eyesore for, for most people there. Uh, but luckily, we're on uh, on the bush block, 